Unless you're a total clown, like it's just not gonna happen, right? Hi there. Welcome to a special bonus episode of Adventure in Art. I am Ben Staley. I am your host, your tour guide, your resident talking head. This is uh, gonna be the first of three mini bonus episodes. Let me tell you about it. So after I finished the Death Valley video, which I will link below, uh, maybe you saw it, you probably did if you subscribed to this channel. After I finished that, there was quite a bit of material that didn't make it uh, for different reasons. It, mostly it just wasn't on topic and it wasn't, it wasn't really the story I was trying to tell there. Looking back at it, I realized there was some pretty interesting conversations that I wanted to share. This material didn't make it into the Death Valley video because number one, there's some technical issues. I didn't realize it and I didn't talk about this in the other video. The microphone I was using, this guy, Sennheiser 416, this is a workhorse microphone. This thing's been to Alaska, it's been to the Amazon. It was broken. So it's like a set screw gone and this thing was coming out. And anyways, I dealt with it before, but the audio was all over the place uh, when I got home and I was like, whoa, what is going on? So there was a lot of material I didn't put in there just because the audio was unfixable. But this stuff, I think I can work with it enough if you'll bear with me. The conversations are interesting. These three bonus episodes kind of represent more of what I would like to do in the future with this channel. Once, once we're not, you know, homebound and quarantined and social distancing and I can get back out with my pals again and we can have adventures and we can go on shoots and we can do things. I look forward to more of these conversations. You know, each, each one of these is a little different. The first one, the one you're gonna see here is with Trevor Thompson. After that, I'm gonna share one with Mike Thurk. And after that, a uh, brief conversation with Mark Twight. I'm glad that I turned the camera on for that trip in the times that I did. I'm also glad that I didn't turn it on at other times because it was a lot of conversations that were never recorded. They just happened. Sometimes those are the best and, and those are the ones you have to be there for. In the meantime, this is the first of three expanded conversations from that Death Valley trip and they're gonna be delivered uncut, uh, uncensored, just as they happened. Uh, this first one is with Trevor. Now this is the first thing that I filmed on the Death Valley trip and it was first thing in the morning and I think Trevor and I were just really up before anybody else and we grabbed our cameras and we went for a little hike up above where we had camped out and we just started shooting the bull and I, like all these, I just started rolling my video camera <laughs> and kind of, uh, I didn't ask and uh, we kept talking so this is what it is. You know, Trevor is, uh, he's the very definition of an artist, I think. Most artists that I know, you know, they're not one trick ponies. They're multi hyphenates, which Trevor is. Um, I think if you're an artist, you're a creative person, you're innately curious, right? You're interested in many different things. I know a lot of photographers that paint or write. I know uh, actors who are also musicians. As artists, we are interested in a lot of different things. And I don't subscribe to this theory that you should just stay in your lane. Fuck that. I think if you're curious and you want to create and you want to explore and you want to discover, that's what being an artist is. And Trevor fits that bill. Trevor uh, was in the Navy for a little over a decade. He was a Navy SEAL and uh, now he's a working professional photographer. Among other things, he's a brilliant illustrator. Uh, he's a bow hunter. He's an athlete. Um, Trevor's a pretty interesting dude. So. This is a little bit of a back and forth extended conversation about the realities of being a working creative professional. I hope you like it. Like you're having an interaction with what's here or there or over there or, you know, like, because you're taking the image and then keeping it I'm shooting mostly digital stuff, so. But I also try and shoot those digital images as if I was taking them with film. You know, like, oh, that would be really cool. You know?
like that frames up like this and that's why I want to hold that for later. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It's just like, you know, if you're a professional, okay? If you're if you're if your job is to go take some specific kinds of images and they have to carry a certain amount of weight and they have to be of a certain quality. So you have to have skills and you have to approach that very professionally. I just you know, I think that if you can inject a sense of play in there and not be so serious about it, like you still have to deliver. You gotta deliver. Yeah. If you're a professional, you have to deliver, and that's why they pay you because you can deliver. But you're gonna do your best work if you're looser and you're still find the space to be experimental. Yeah. While you're being purposeful and playing like a kid, and you'll discover things and you'll be loose and you'll be able to see opportunities and see possibility instead of just seeing sort of the, the constraints of, of of your delivery requirements. And even beyond just the constraints, all you're seeing sometimes is this thing has to go in this compartment and then it's getting sent back because I'm getting paid to send it back in this box. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who fucking cares? Like, they're already, like... The way I see the cool part about being on salary or already getting paid or you've already been told to do this thing and now you you have to give deliverables they already trust what you're doing they're paying you to give them content based on what they've already seen so just continue doing it and you know what if it doesn't fucking work out it doesn't fucking work out I mean that's a very flippant way of like saying oh yeah you'll not get hired again but Unless you're a total clown, like, it's just not going to happen, right? I mean, have you really ever seen that happen? Yeah, I have. With people that are like... Yeah, because here's... here's, here's they go, that's, did they go, like, totally off the rails of, like, what they were no, doing? No, no. Here's the weird thing is, like, you know, create creative industries are... There's a lot of gray area. It's not cut and dry like yeah. a lot of other industries. So it's like, you know, I didn't like this. A lot of times you don't get... You don't get the feedback. Yeah don't get notes good or bad and the good ones don't really help unless it's like that's a direction you can continue in yeah but a lot of times you don't get notes you just don't get another phone call and it's already been taken like the image has already been taken yeah it's done you did your work and it's like well a lot of times you don't get a lot of information up front and then you don't get notes on the back end you just won't get a call again so a creative industry it's it leaves you very vulnerable it leaves you with a lot of questions a lot of times so i'm always of the opinion just take big swings and own it if they don't like it just be like, oh, okay, well, you know, now I know. Just please tell me what you don't like, because I don't want to do it again. Yeah. And then own, own what you did. Own your choices, but make a choice. Make a strong choice, mm-hmm. and come from a place of playfulness and creativity. And, and then drive those choices home, and just like, yeah, that's what I did. I was, that was my intent. Yeah. And then if you don't like the intent, I can change the intent. But in this moment, this was my intent. Yeah, that was on purpose. Yeah. Be yeah. purposeful, and in that play. Yeah. So that, I don't know, that's my philosophy on it. Have a point of view. Because that's what you have that I don't have. I don't have your point of view, Trevor. Yeah. Which is informed by all your life experiences and all your experience and all your skills. You don't have my point of view. It's totally different. It's informed by all my yeah. life experiences and my skills and my choices. And that's what's so cool about... Yeah. <clears throat> Either still or moving photography when it is taken with that frame of reference. And I, th- I think that there's, I mean, now that I'm seeing it more, like being on the marketing side, I've seen both sides of it. And it's a shame to see people that are coming from coldly trying to make a product, thinking that that will grow their ability to be creative. Do you know what I mean? I do know. I'm like, motherfucker, just be creative. Like, like, I've been asked, like, oh, why are you carrying your own camera around all the time? I'm like, because it's a fucking skill to be, and then I want to be able to portray what I'm portraying well. So if I don't have it on me all the time, I'm not going to practice, and then it's going to be crappy. And then I'll be frustrated, and I'll stop doing it. Well, because you, <laughs> you, you come from a line of work where you had to be really skilled and you understand that skills are perishable. Yeah. You understand that. And you can be really good at something, but it doesn't mean you can just sit on the couch all day because you're really good at it. You'll get less good at it. Yeah. Skills are perishable. Yeah, and it's not like I'm out taking... I'm 
hundreds of pictures all the time. Yeah, it's not that I'm out there like filling up fucking memory cards. That blows my mind too. Oh, it's like, Jesus Christ, people. Like, or I've been asked like, oh, how much editing do you do on your pictures? I'm like, eh, about as much as you do on film. Like a little push or pull, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same one. Like light, a little bit of light here or there, or a little bit of contrast maybe. I'm not gonna sit there, like, man, it blows my mind. There's so much, like, it, I didn't understand how much Photoshopping there was getting done. Until I started doing this job. Like, wait, what? <laughs> this is like a, a five level composite? Like, huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's its own thing, I guess, if that's the thing you want to do. I guess that's, I guess that's not the thing I want to do. That's just not me. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I wanna be in front of a computer less. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're cool tools, but fuck, man. I'd rather be in front of or behind a lens 